Welcome back to Triple X Learnings. Today we have this amazing question on your screen. We have to find the value for p so that we can satisfy this equation. How we can approach this question? We have 12 as a power of 4 p and we have 8 for power for p. So here we are seeing that 12 and 8 there is a common between these two. 4 is common. So 4 3 is a 12 and 4 2 is a 8. So I am just considering p to the power 4 as one variable. So p to the power 4 can be considered as one variable. I am considering here a. So this value can be write as p to the power 4 and there is a power over here 3. Here p to the power 4 and there is a power over here 2. 4, 3 is a 12 and 4, 2 is a 8 that is and 36 is coming on the left side and it is becoming, becoming minus 36 equal to 0, 0 is on the right side. Next step is we can write this value over here so it will become a3 and here a to the power 3 and here a square minus 36 equal to 0 so here we have a cube plus a square minus 36 equal to 0 then we have to find the value for a so that this equation can be satisfied so we will apply here heat and trial method to get the value for a I am starting from a equal to 1 so if I am putting here a equal to 1 over here then this can be considered as if a equal to 1 here the 1 q plus 1 square minus 36 See, so it is coming 1 plus 1 minus 36 that is 2 minus 36 minus 34 and that is not equal to 0 so we will neglect it then we have a equal to 2 if I am putting here 2 here 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 2 minus 36 it is coming 8 plus 4 minus 36 here 12 minus 36 that is minus 24 that is also not equal to 0 so we are also neglecting this one a equal to 2 will be neglected and then we have a equal to 3 so here 3 to the power 3 3 to the power 2 minus 36 so it is becoming 27 plus 9 minus 36 so it is coming 36 minus 36 that is equal to 0 so it is coming so we will consider this value over here as a one root for this equation so we can write this one in this way a equal to 3 that is a minus 3 equal to 0 so it is a factor of this equation now I want to get other factor for this value so here I am putting a cube plus a square minus 36 that is divided by a minus 3 I am going to do long division method so first time I have to multiply here with a square so I will be having a cube minus 3 a square and it is cancelling we have 4 a square 
minus 36 then I am putting here plus 4a so it is becoming 4a square and minus 12a minus and here plus so it will be 12a minus 36 and then I can use here plus 12 so 12 into a that is 12a minus 36 that is cancelling each other so this value is another factor for this equation so we can write this one in this way we have a cube a square minus 36 equal to 0 so here this can be write as a minus 3 into a square plus 4a plus 12 that is equal to 0 so this is a quadratic equation so we have to get the roots of this quadratic equation so we will consider this one 4 a square plus 4 a plus 12 that is equal to 0 we will consider this one as we have to find the value for a over here so I am just writing a standard equation of quadratic so a here a square plus b a plus c equal to 0 we have to check the discriminant value so b should be greater than 0 for real root or equal to 0 so here a equal to 1 and we have b equal to 4 we have c equal to 12 so we have to find the value for d so d is what d equal to b square minus 4 a c b equal to here 4 square minus 4 a equal to 1 and c equal to 12 so it is coming 16 minus 48 that is minus 32 negative 32 is coming so it is less than 0 obviously we have imaginary roots so we will find that imaginary roots for a a equal to minus b plus minus root under here b square minus 4ac divided by 2a and we have this value for d here so b equal to minus 4 plus minus and it is coming minus 32 divided by 2 into a equal to 1 so we have minus 4 plus minus it is 16 into 2 16 will come outside and it will become 4 so minus 2 will be here inside the root divided by 2 I am taking 2 common so it will be minus 2 positive negative 2 and root under 2 we know that here root under minus 1 that is iota root under minus 1 becoming iota so imaginary root here we have i and just I'm going to you know close this one divided by 2 so it will be cancelling so finally we have this minus 2 plus minus 2 root under 2 and iota so we have this value for you know uh, a equal to 3 we had we assumed that p to the power 4 is equal to a that is here 3 so p equal to 3 to the power 1 by 4 will be one answer and we have 
p to the power 4 that is equal to a and it is coming minus 2 plus minus 2 root under 2 iota so p equal to minus 2 plus minus 2 root under 2 iota power 1 upon 4 so this is 1 upon 4 so this is our solution that is either p equal to 3 to the power 1 upon 4 or we have minus 2 plus minus 2 root under 2 iota power 1 upon 4 this is our solution thank you so much for watching my videos for latest upcoming please subscribe my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get my latest notification earlier. Thank you so much for watching my videos.